The 2018 NFL Draft is less than three weeks away, and players who have sacrificed themselves, worked hard, and enjoyed a successful college career will soon see their dreams come true by playing in the NFL. And we're here to talk it up with one of those players today as we go one-on-one -on -one with Oklahoma State wide receiver Marcel Aitman on the OFN Meeting Room with Greg DePalma. All right, it's Thursday, April 12th, 2018. I'm Greg DePama, and thanks for tuning into the OFN Meeting Room as we talk NFL Draft with Marcel Aitman. Marcel, thanks for speaking with us today. Uh, no problem. Thank you for having me. All right, Marcel. So uh, I, I wanted to let you know uh, before we get started that the reason I reached out to your agent about this interview was because I believe that you're going to have a much more productive pro career than most people have been saying in part. Oh, yes, sir. And in part because I really like the way that you catch the ball in traffic, uh, especially in the red zone, uh, your ability to make plays down the field. And uh, I think you're a better uh, prospect, actually, than even, say, like a Devin Funches when he came out and he's having a decent career. So I think you're going to be just fine. And I mentioned Funches because, you know, he was criticized for maybe not having the fastest time uh, 40. Exactly, uh, but, yeah. but you're pretty similar in size. And I think the similar type of talent as far as somebody who can compete in the red zone and make plays. And we know at the NFL level, red zone uh, play is so important. And I don't have to tell you. I mean, you, you've said recently that you think you're a first-round talent. Oh, yes, sir. I mean, and that's just the mindset, you know I mean, that I have as, uh, you know, as a person playing this game, just a competitor, period. You know what I mean? Just, you know, that's what I believe. You know what I mean? My work ethic, everything that I put into um, – this game, you know, I believe that I am. And um, like you said, man, I can't, you know, it's, it's people's opinion, you know what I mean? So I can't can't go based off that. I just can control what I can control. Absolutely. Uh, tell me about your, t tell me about your red zone abilities, Marcel, when you have to make those types of catches, how much of it is about want and desire? Oh, that's, you know, that's everything about it. <laughs> you just have to want you just have to want it, you know what I mean? And also, you know the situation. You know how crucial it is for your for your team to come up with points. You know what I mean? When you get in down there, you got to execute, um, and you got to come up with points. So just knowing that and then just wanting to make the play, wanting to score a touchdown, uh -huh. you know, for your team, and yeah. every, all that just comes into play. And so you just go up there and, and just make it happen. Yeah, it's all, it's all those little things that are really that can make the difference at at the next level, and and I'm sure exactly. you know that. Uh, yeah. So many players that that are similar size, similar speed. There's so many so many things that are similar about you, but it's those little things that can really, especially that want and desire, the ability to come up big in big situations, not be afraid of the big play, the you know the big play, the big moment. I, uh, you recently felt disrespected when you heard about your lack of route running ability. Why do you think you've oh. been so misscouted in that department? Well, personally, you know, it's just, I believe that not a lot of people actually, well, the people that criticize me don't actually watch my film, you know? So it's kind of like, um, I'm not being criticized by the scouts or I'm not being criticized by the people that, um, or watching my film. You know okay. I mean? So it's just like, if you're going to say something about me, make sure, <laughs> you know, you have... Back it up. You know, and exactly. Yeah. But I mean, it's, it's people's opinion, and it's people, you know, whatever they say. So I um, hear my son back there going crazy. But uh, it's just, you know, I take it for what it is. You know what I mean? I just, I just go out there and work, you know, and I don't even look at any of that Twitter, Instagram, none of that stuff. Oh, yeah. You know, I don't I don't pay no attention to it. I just go out there and continue just to perfect my craft. So, so by the way, how old is your son? My son is a year and a half now. That's awesome. Yep, just turned a year, uh, just turned a year and a half on the 4th of April. That's great. And that yep. must have been uh, some moment, huh? I mean, especially in oh, college. Yeah. Wow, that's a big responsibility. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was, you know what I mean? But God, God didn't give me that for no reason. He knew I can That's handle right. everything. And so so you know, I've just been doing doing what I doing what I can. But I got a great support system, so I can't you know I can't can't get myself all the credit. That's okay. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. So what do you need to do to improve your game? 
Uh, you know, I believe I just, you know, I'm not a just, I feel like I have to work in every area. You know, the, I, I have areas where I'm, I'm good at. So, uh, you know, high point in the ball. Uh, you know, I, I feel like I got good ball skills and everything. So, you know, I'm not really working too much about that, but I know in the NFL when it comes to separation, you know what I mean? So okay. really just working on um, just continue to perfect my route running. Okay. You know what I mean? Actually going out there, running those routes, coming in and out of those breaks, and just um, becoming more fluent, more comfortable with my steps and everything. Because, you know, the NFL, you know, that's all it's about, separation. Yep. So just continue to perfect my route running. Okay. You know I mean, I'm, I'm going to always continue to do that, but, you know, just trying to work on my weaknesses. You know I mean? Not necessarily weaknesses, but things that I can always improve. Yep. So, yeah. How about the time playing with uh, – you know, a quarterback like Mason Rudolph and uh, and a receiver mate like James Washington, that must have been yeah. pretty special. Not many uh, college uh, players get an opportunity, especially at your position, get an opportunity to play with a receiver mate like James and a quarterback like Mason. Exactly. Yeah, you're right. You're definitely right. You know, Mason is, you know, like I've said before, he's a first-round draft pick in my eyes, one of the best quarterbacks in this draft. Um, put up the numbers, has the, the size, has – talent has everything and you know just be you know because me and mason are good friends we're close friends and so you know, that's a relationship beyond football and just having uh just throwing someone like him high caliber can throw me the ball like that is it's just a great you know experience and then jane that's my boy too so i just came from oklahoma state you know i went down there with him and so uh it, you know he a blitter call winner you know oh yeah so it's just, you know what I mean? So everything speaks for itself. The numbers and everything speaks for itself. And uh, shout out to our coaches for you know, putting us in the best situation to make plays. What was it? The difference between you and James, uh, as far as that you noticed or that you thought that okay, James, these are the things that James does better than I do. You know, I I, I feel pretty confident in these things, but but these are some of the things I've noticed James does that I'd like to be able to do. I know I st- I can do, and 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 you know, are are there certain things that you've noticed over your career that? Because uh, cause James, you know, people think James could be a first round draft pick, first second round draft oh, yeah. pick. Uh, so what do you think the main differences are between the two of you? Definitely. Um, you know, James, you know, it is what it is. You know, he's a big stride, fast, and just get on the step on your toes receiver. You know what I mean? <laughs> he's going he's gonna to beat you on them no matter what. You know what's coming, them goals, those posts. You know what's coming. And that's, that's all it is. And uh, just the difference between us is, you know, he, he has great speed. You know what I mean? I ain't just slow. <laughs> has great speed, you know. Yep. I mean? Just who he is. He has great speed, um, athleticism, ball skills. You know, so first down, second down. You know, we we we, we throwing it down. <laughs> you know, that's that's just uh, the weapon that we have. So we use it. You know, for the goals, those posts, those key balls on first and second down, and then you know I'm coming in. You know how I was using our offense. You know, third down, fourth down. Um, you know those long passes that we needed to get the first down, and yep. just the uh, you know coming across the middle, all those. Um, and which he did too. You know, we, we kind of we, we we did it. You know, we we both did the same thing, but he just did those posts and goes more just because that's what you know how we use him in the offense. Okay. But um, you know, that's that's just a little thing. All right. Uh, give me a player you played against uh, who, and and this would be a defender that you played against who draft fans should keep an eye on uh, that's possibly coming out this year or next. What? Uh, th- that fans, draft fans, should keep an eye on a player that you played against uh, on defense, who yeah. uh, maybe not expected to be a first round draft pick, but somebody that you know might be a sleeper type that people should keep an eye on. Um, let me think. That's a good question. I ain't gonna, I haven't been asked that, so I don't okay. really know. Any particular corners? Uh, anybody who's covered you or? Linebackers, or well, I would say yeah, some of the good good defensive players that I played against. So, you know, um, Obo from the defensive end, even though he's he ain't he didn't cover me, he was defensive end. Just watching his play, I don't know if he's projected first round or what, but the edge rusher from uh, OU, he was a good player. Okay, I, you know, I thought he was a good player. Uh, I actually trained with him up at MJP. Okay, and um, who else? There's another guy that came from. That's here. That's in the draft from Big Twelve. 
uh, what's his name? What school? Uh, I'm trying to think. I, I want to say, I don't think none, none of the people out of West Virginia is coming out. I don't think anybody from, uh, that's a good question. Only one I can really think of right now, uh, right. you know, is, is Oboe that really kind of just stands out of my mind right off the top. He didn't guard me or nothing like that. That's but okay. We, you know, we got a lot of. Yeah, but that's on yeah, I mean, he's projected maybe third round, you know, so he fits he fits the question. You know, he's a guy that, of course, we've seen him maybe a little bit more than other players because he did play in the playoffs and exactly. uh, some big games. But, hey, look, there are a lot of NFL fans that listen to, 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 to say these interviews that aren't big college fans, you know, and this is when they become college fans. They, they want to know about right. the players coming out of college. And so, uh, so yeah, so some, some of them, they, they don't know sometimes who even the, 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 the players that we would think, oh, how, how do you not know who this is? But, you know, exactly. that's, that's the way it is. Okay, how about, how about players on offense? Uh, let's flip it around to, to the offense. Somebody that you've watched over the last few years, like, you know, you're on the sidelines, you're waiting your turn, and, and, and you just see this guy that's playing on offense against you that you're like, wow, you know, this receiver, this quarterback, this running back, anybody that sticks out to you that you just remember, wow, this guy's really good? You know, there's a, you know, there's a few players that really just stood out. And it's hard because I don't really get to watch the game the actual game. <laughs> sure, sure. You know, you know we're talking, you know, uh -huh. talking to us, uh -huh. and everything like that. But I know, you know, there's some people that had, you know, obviously, you know, Baker. You know, that's the obvious one. Oh, yeah. Just watching him um, and those running backs up there, you know, when, when Mixon and P. Ryan and them was up there. You know, I don't know why I'm getting, you know, sure I was used to what's up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, it is what it is. You know what I mean? There were some good players that would play against. Well, how about how about Baker, by the way? I mean, did did he uh, – was he just good competition? Was it all in fun? I mean, it looked like it could be pretty, you know, intense. You know, that rivalry is intense, so, you it know. It is. No, it, it really is. No, it's intense. You know what I mean? We um, – on that field, you know, we, we, we're we going at it. You know what I mean? We, we might be friends um, after the game, but um, when it comes to – when it's on the field, okay, mm -hmm. we, we, we're going after it. Yep. All right. Uh, you missed the 2016 season with a foot injury. So how how is your foot feeling? I was feeling great. You know, I got cleared from all the doctors at the combine and everything. You know, they went over my CT scans and x-rays and everything. So that was just a good feeling. Cool. I had got, you no, know, I haven't been x-rayed since, you know, for a while. Okay. So after I was cleared, I had like one more x-ray after that. But other than that, you know, I was just kind of curious on uh, what they were going to say. And, you know, they all cleared me. All, all five doctors cleared me. So I was just just grateful for that. So did, it's, it's all good. Did you learn anything in particular with the time off that you had that year? Uh, anything that benefited you uh, at all mentally, physically? Yeah, just not taking anything for granted. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, I see people get injured all the time, but I never – can be put in their shoes because I've never been injured, you know what I mean, and had the game taken away from me. Yep. You know, so I can always just be like, oh, man, you know, I'm praying for you or whatever, whatever. But when you're actually put in that position or when it's taken away from you, um, you grow, you know, a different um, perspective on that. Oh, yeah. You know, so. Makes you appreciate it more. Exactly. You appreciate it more. Yep. You know what I mean? You want to just continue just to put more into it, you know what I mean, because you never, you just never know free accident anything like that you just never know so yep you just have to uh you know you know they always say national football league is not for long period anyway, uh -huh. so injury is, <laughs> is not good yes but, yes yeah. you never know i mean the, the kid uh from west virginia uh kevin white i mean exactly. it's too bad you know hopefully he'll he'll remain healthy the rest of his career but these things happen and there's nothing exactly. you can do about it. So you do have to appreciate it. Uh, and so far, so good. I'm glad to hear that uh, with the foot. Uh, okay. Tell me about a game film that uh, you were most proud of, uh, that you'd like scouts to see. If you had one to pick out, uh, which one would that be? Which game? Which game? I would probably say, you know, Iowa State. Okay. Um, this past year? You know, I never liked to pick games where we lost just because in a sense of, sure. you know, we lost, we, lost, we lost the game. I don't care if I did good or not, but we still lost. So, I, you know what I mean? 
But I would say it was a good game. I, I thought it was a good game. It came down overtime. And, uh, you know what I mean, my, our, our team played well. I played well. So it, it was just a good game overall. What would be your the, the, the biggest win that you remember from your career? Is it easy to think of, the biggest win for not biggest just personally, win. but just that you were all proud to be a part of? I would probably just say when we beat OU, even though we had a – it was – 20, probably 14, 2014, we was at OU, and we beat them, and just because, you know, that's a rivalry, you know what I mean, I, oh, yeah. I done beat them once since I've been there, since I've been at Oklahoma State, we lost in 2013, 15, 16, and just recently, you know what I mean, so anytime you can beat the rivalry team, you know, even though, um, you know, we, we had it, we didn't have Greatest season. It was you know, a, a good win for us. Yeah, I remember that one too. That was the one that you guys were heavy dogs. Yeah, exactly. That was the overtime win. Exactly. Yeah, that that was one of Mason. Was that Mason's? That was that that was all. You guys were all freshmen at the time. No, I was a sophomore. You were Mason sophomore. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I was a sophomore. Mason was a freshman. Mason was a freshman. 2013. That's when we played them for the Big Twelve Championship. Yeah. And yep. it was we was at Stillwater. Okay. Yeah, but that 2014 year, that was a big year. What was your most disappointing loss? Uh, most disappointing loss? I'd probably say all them OU games, man. We, uh, <laughs> we played them. <laughs> Real, we played them close. Man. Uh -huh. Every year we play them close, and then just, you know, my, two, my 20, 2013 was one of the ones that hurt us, I believe, just because it was just a good game. It came down to the last second touchdown. You know, it was freezing cold. It was just one of those <laughs> nitty gritty games, and um, you know, we all wanted that one bad for that Big Twelve Championship. Sure. All right. Uh, last question, Marcel. Uh, did you have a favorite NFL team growing up? Favorite NFL team. Um, you know, my family is big on the Cowboys. You know, so okay. I grew up watching them most of the time, just because I'm from a city. You know, I'm from Dallas. Okay. So. I made you know, it easy, easy transition. Cowboy fan to a cowboy fan. Yeah, so it's just you know, you know <laughs> I watch them every time. You know, Christmas games, all that. You know, I will be there and I, you know, I will watch it. But I, I like, for me, being a receiver, I like watching different receivers on different teams. Sure. So, but yeah. I did any grow any up. player that you watched over your career that you followed for any particular reason that you said, hey, you know, that guy kind of reminds me of. Maybe the type of player I am, or something that you just noticed about that receiver that you admired the most at the NFL level. Uh, well, during the time it was probably you know during his last couple of years, I actually got to watch Randy Moss in his game. Okay. You know what I mean, that was just some of the good things because I always heard about you know him, you know how great he was whenever he was in Minnesota and everything, and all the stuff that he did. So you know, because we still use the term "you got Moss," you know, we still use that term today. So. You know, actually getting to watch, you know, greatness. You know, one of the things that I you know, really appreciate. Big tall. Yep. You know, I know he's blazing fast, but just go up and get the ball. All right, Marcel, great job. Uh, best of luck. How you gonna How you gonna watch the draft or know about your whole situation? Uh, I'll be at home. You'll it's be at home. I'll be at home. I'll be at home. I'm from Dallas, so my family will be here with me. Um, and just just watch it right from right from the house. All right, best way to do it. Yes, all right, Marcel, thanks a lot for your time. Uh, best of luck at the draft. Best of luck on the next level. I'll uh, be rooting for you, and uh, hopefully we'll talk to you again sometime soon. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me, too. Thanks. You got it. You're welcome. Thank you, Marcel. All right. All right. All right. That is Marcel Aitman from Oklahoma State, a cowboy. His family grew up cowboy fans, and he uh, is an Oklahoma State cowboy. So how about becoming a Dallas Cowboy? You know, they could use some more receivers in Dallas. Of course, they know the Oklahoma State receivers well with Des Bryant. Wouldn't be a bad idea. All right, that'll wrap it up here for the OFN meeting room. And we'll see you again real soon. Matter of fact, we've got another one of these tomorrow on Friday. If you're listening to this show live, we have Dalton Schultz from Stanford tomorrow. So that'll be available on demand. Not sure if that'll be available on demand tomorrow or over the weekend or Monday, but that's coming soon. And many more between now and the draft. 
Don't forget to order a guide, our lads draft guide. Go to go to the subscription menu area on the website. You can order it right now. It'll be in your mailbox within days. Don't wait. Do it now. Follow us on Twitter at Prime SN. Thanks for listening to this edition of the OFN Meeting Room with Greg De Palma on the Our Lads Football Radio Network, where it's never too early to think about the NFL draft.